I'm Suhail. I'm joined with my one of my good friends. Do I go now? I mean, it's up to you, man. Unless there's somebody else. Joel, Joel is my good friend right here. Joel and Ellie. No, I'm jo- I keep going, but yeah. I mean, is are, we that- using, are we using nickname or uh, just real name? Okay. Well, Hello, you beautiful <laughs> shitters. I know you're enjoying this while taking a fucking shit, and I wouldn't want it any other way. We wouldn't want it any other way. Welcome to the very first episode of ASM Sakai. I am Suhail. I'm joined here by Moto, aka the the anime godfather. Then we're just gonna go with it. We're missing. <laughs> no, um, no. We're missing no, that. No. We're gonna go with there. He's the anime godfather. We're keeping it as it is. We're missing our Scarface buddy, the A in our ASM. Um, Amit, uh, but the ASM could also stand for anime, shows, and movies, which what we are about. So with that being said, Yamoto, how's my best friend Joel and Ellie doing, bro? They're doing good, man. The best adaptation of games. I mean, you, n- you never played this game. and We'll share perspective. Yeah, we'll, we'll go perspective. <sighs> How are you yeah, like so, when it comes to this? So you know what's interesting is a lot of times a uh, good up op- adaptation. You know you have those uh, little side things that like kind of makes you excited and shit. But even without it, like the story is fantastic, right? Like just from the very beginning to the uh, the most recent episode, and the pacing how it you know shifts between you know episode to episode just keeps everything fresh. Like episode five was much more action-packed. I mean, we haven't really seen that much infected, right? Like, we saw two clickers in episode two, none in three, none in one, um, and all of a sudden, in episode five, it's, like, massive. So it's, like, every episode has this kind of different feel to it, but always fucking tragic at the end. (laughs) Um, So coming from a game, so I've had a disappointment, and I'll come back to episode five, um, especially with everything I've read so far. Um, as in the game, Joel kills a lot of humans. A lot. I'm not spoiling anything. So you know how in, in episode four, he had the battle with um, the three humans, whatever you want to call it? Right. And the game is, it's easily two, three dozen, like military gear, like the Fedra right. kind of people. They're there. So like Joel has to go, uh, there's like breaks and stuff we use for distractions and stuff for clickers. We might, we might get to see that in the future. Um, right. and nothing I'm saying is spoiling because everything has been set up already here. They completely changed it, and I I feel like it's a good change in a way where it's surprising not only the first time viewers, which is you, it's also surprising me a gamer who's played this. Uh, right. and it's controversial, aversial where it's telling me to nitpick on the good and bad of each scene. That's happening. Right. Like, for example, episode four for me was better than three. I'm not saying three was bad. The reason being why I saw the setup for five. I felt the setup and it felt like a movie. Like, everybody kept on complaining. Episode four felt like it was incomplete. It was very short. It felt it was too rushed. Not enough, like, compared to two, three. But the reason I didn't panic is... I saw the setup because they had the same director direct both. So he directed like a movie and then they did a cutscene. So that's yeah, why I feel cut it in parts. Yeah, so that's why I felt incomplete, but the payoff was worth it. Oh. Um, well, you know, speaking of payoff, right? Like I, I really love that making. I felt like both 3 and 4 were great setup for 5 because it's like the death you get in 5 is a tragic death. And it kind of adds from the weight, from like the non tragic death, right? So the show writer is doing this thing where it's like every death can't be tragic, right? Correct. It's uh, and, and the word that they use in episode, you know, I had a good life, right? It doesn't matter what's happening outside, like it was a good life. So you, you get this sad 
you know, as a viewer, you learn these two characters and you, you get sad about it and you, you lose it. And the episode five is like, holy fuck, he did not just do that. Like, what the fuck? Like, like it's so tragic because you, you look at Henry, right? He's like, you, you hear his perspective. Like, look. He's just like Joel. The guy, well, the guy I ratted out, right, Henry, is like, I respect him. I love the guy. Like, it's almost that's what he's saying, right? Yeah. I have to, you know protect my younger brother a very human and, thing any one of us do right. but then he ends up killing him at the very end i mean he's already dead but like that this like the circle where he actually does end it completely right what if there was a cure what if you know like he does put the final blow into it so this like tragic thing where the guy's like what the, that's why i think he was saying what did i do where not only did he kill his brother but he also killed someone expected right like so it's like Wow, what a tragedy of like storytelling, and it's such an opposite of episode three, where it's like, yeah, I get it. You're in an environment where there's there's not a resource to help you take care of it, right? Yeah. Like you saw in the drawing where his uh, drawing was deteriorating, right? That's when I think he decided that he can't continue because he just like he's just being a, a nonsense. To, uh, well, uh, struggle for Bill, you know, adding on the stuff, but yeah, it just. God damn! Yeah, this okay. show is evil. <laughs> so, before we get back into diving, there's something I need to say, and this is nothing to worry. You know, this is not I'm trying to say sexes or anything. It's a joke. It's a complete joke. It has nothing to do. So, somebody wrote that like, you see how two men can survive happily in a post-apocalyptic world because two men can get along and agree to things. Imagine if it was a girl and a guy, they would have died by week two. <laughs> oh man. We just get canceled on the first episode. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hey, I didn't write the joke. I just said. Anyways, so getting back to it, um, what I really liked, and I think season, I mean, it's season five, episode five has helped me grow more towards episode three, is because in episode three, the Bill and Frank story, it's of well-written, beautiful story. That's going to win a lot of awards. It is going to win awards like left and right. HBO, all you do is create bangers. So congratulations. Congratulations for another Golden Globe. Well-deserved. <laughs> Everybody's getting a freaking Emmy or whatever you want to call it. But how they were basically graphing and lining up Bill to Joel, Frank to yeah. Ellie, the protector the protectee, yeah. and the bond, whatever. Yeah. You saw how this one letter kind of kind of switched Joel into being a little more softer. This way, yeah. Ellie started opening up, started doing her, you know, dad jokes. And the dad, the, the yeah. jokes, that's one thing I want to say this. As a viewer, everyone was hearing it. Everybody was hearing it. Yeah. Everybody was into it. And they were not funny. But like every single dad jokes... <laughs> It takes time. Uh, it takes time building and breaking that layer. It takes time. Over time, you're going to be like, this is corny enough for me to laugh. That's what yeah, happened to Joel. Joel, yeah. you could see that. And we all laughed at the same time. And I thought it was such beautifully written. I was like very impressed. That's why I liked episode four. Because you see them bonding, their chemistry expanding. Yeah. So, I love that. Yeah, I love, yeah. And when Ellie basically shot the guy, his acting with... He like, I'm okay, I'm sorry, mom, mom. Like, all the stuff. Yo, that, like, was, that was fucking cruel as fuck. Good acting, yo. Good acting. Yeah. Oh, bravo writing, yeah. good acting. Yo, I was sitting there going like, yo. I understand he has to die. Right. But I want to not kill him. Like, yeah, it's, like it's, it's showing it's... the compassion, the human side. Like, it's conflicted. Yeah, so like, I, I think from a lot of what I hear from the game side, it just just almost too much brutality in terms of just what's oh, happened. Game has way more. And I, yeah, but what I, <laughs> the show I, I think it felt tragic. like tragic. Yeah, it does. It does. It like, feels because more. That, that's the that scene. What's so disturbing is that there's always saying like you have you know pets, uh, or not pets, but like food, yeah. like a chicken or whatever. Never name them because then that becomes more connected. It becomes more tragic. Once you right? give a name, you basically have right. a bond. Yeah. Yeah. So that part where first thing he does, hey, this is my name, and then my mom is right there. I know. Right? I know, bro. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be fucking yeah. kidding me! Like, 
Yeah, it, like it's it's this constant like humanizing people and then the twisting the knives. Like it, literally in that scenario, right? You didn't you didn't see it, which is not an interesting pers- uh, point where you brought up where Joe kills a lot more human in the game, way which more. I have also heard way more. And what's interesting, by the way, is uh, I, I, they're obviously doing this intentionally, where you don't actually see Joe kill human in the oh, show. Well, you just saw him do it three times. I mean, they're shooting no, him, shooting. Uh, oh, you talk about brutally. No, like for example, uh, you hear the gunshot fire. So there's three, uh, three guys, right? First is the guy. Blurred out guy got shot further away. Yeah, the other guy came up and Ellie was in the here and you he hear the gunshot fire. Yeah, right And then the third one was the stabbing the knife yeah. with a uh, uh, In the heart I'm uh, with the knife. Yeah. You didn't see that so and then remember the sniper Also, you hear the gunshot from Ellie's perspective So I'm wondering they're doing this intentionally right? like you don't see the intentional, like, literally, why didn't they show uh, Joel just straight up kill the old man, right? Like, you don't see that. Like, oh. the next step, uh, no, 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 right? no. I, 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 actually, I liked how they did that, and there's a reason why. Why? One, we know it's going to happen, but when they framed it to the reaction of Henry, Sam, oh, it's Ellie, Ellie. That's it's called, Ellie. It's, uh, it's yeah. It's her, her thing going, and, like, that, that is like, yeah. as a viewer, we're like, I understand. Yeah, and then what's I think interesting is there's hints, right, that he killed a lot of people. Yeah. Right, and he's done a lot of bad things. Like any question, remember at Marlene, she's like, "Oh, I know what you're capable of." Yeah. And then Ellie goes, "What? What are you capable of?" <laughs> right. And then Tess has said it multiple times, like we were not good people. Right. So like, it's intentional that they haven't shown Joe kill people. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a massive some sort. I don't know what to show this. They're holding, like, they're intentionally keeping this. Like, it's almost like you're keeping Joe as grumpy old man initially. Yeah. Who's, like, opening up. But then you don't really see his dark side yet, right? I mean, uh, it's they're, build, they're, they're building it up to it really nicely. They are really, yeah. uh, really nicely I, uh, building up every single layer. They're breaking down every layer. They're connecting every single dot with right. us. Uh, they're really helping us viewers understand the trauma, right? And I think it, it is it, it, the the show is it, this kind of show should not have a happy ending. As uh, uh, is it is it going to have a happy? I, I don't think it's gonna have a happy ending. And my my thing is it's not going. I mean, I just don't see it. I mean, it has a second part, so uh, I mean, if I'm a season one. Yeah, yeah, okay, season one. Season one, sure, sure, you could have a happy ending, right? Like, season one. But, like, literally... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what are you calling a happy ending? Uh, they find a cure, they're all alive, Tommy's alive, everybody's alive. Okay, I don't think it's going to be <laughs> that perfect. I feel... I don't think, this Joel, is... I don't think Joel and Ellie are going to die. Uh, at least I hope I don't, because, you know, Game of Thrones, PTSD... Well, Game of Thrones. No, no, we're not gonna go into that no. topic. I'm just giving you that, you know, example. I have seen it gone that route where your favorite characters can and will die. Can this happen in this? I I don't know. Is it controversial? One hundred percent, and it might make better stuff, but it's not going to be a blissful ending. No, I, I yeah, I don't see it. It just I, it, it's going straight the tragic route. Like maybe they find a cure. Uh, but I mean, at right a cost. Now, as as far as we know, right now is they probably do it. I mean, in, in this sense, right now, the whole mission is the cure. Ellie is, right. you know, the cure. She right. basically, yo. Uh, so coming back to this, like coming back to episode five, one, like I want to break down. I I feel like this episode was near perfect. So so many so many reasons. One. The, the emotional standpoint, how it showed Henry and Sam hiding and going through. Because we already saw this in episode 4. We already saw it in right. episode 4. All these things. So we saw all those connecting the dots all the way to them meeting. How Sam is deaf. Like, right. showing us the visuals. Of first, we see, uh, you know, two gay guys living. Now we're seeing deaf. We're seeing all these... 
I would scenarios. These cra- not crazy scenarios, these realistic scenarios that we don't think of. Like an average person would not think of. Because when we think right. uh, apoc- like post apocalyptic world, we're thinking handsome, rugged, strong uh, men, females, whatever you want to call it. So right. we're seeing the weaknesses and people overcoming. When they start showing the bond, Henry and Joel being mirror images, Sam and Ellie being mirror images, and how Sam and Ellie bond over comic books. They start having laughter. They start, like, you know, having these thoughts all the way to the end when Sam shows her the thing and she goes, I'm the cure. She cuts her hand and she rubs her blood on the wound. And I'm just like, man, what a moment. Like, yeah, that was rough. That what was a, tragic, right? Like, what a moment for Ellie to st- strongly believe in herself, going like, hey, this is what it's worth for, and doing it. And after Henry, and the way I really liked, I knew Henry was going to shoot himself. I, I just knew it. It's just that Henry's, his acting right there was fantastic. Oof. After he shot his brother, like, he's just like, what did I do? It like, broke, man. He 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 had no it's idea. It's Yeah, he just destroyed. It destroyed him every way because I, again, like he goes that he was already destroyed for betrayal, right? He's not a rat. He was just but right. Sam that's was the his perception. Life. Sam was his world. Right, it, right, exactly. So he sacrificed that only to have him having to shoot him. Like, what would you go for? And it, it just yeah, it's, it's, that's. That's it's crazy. We see Bill and Frank. It's so evil. We see Bill and it's Frank. It's fucking evil. We see Bill and Frank kill each other after living a good life, but they decide to go together, like you know, like right. lovers. Right. We see them yeah. do it. It's They're sweet. Very it's way. sweet. It, they were laughing when they were going. You know, and it was. Then you have this tragic romantic. death. Oh God! It's yeah. But when they showed Henry shoot, and instead of seeing Henry, we saw their facial expressions. Oh, and, yeah, and, and also, have, did you notice that it was blood coming out? Like, he was looking at the blood. Like, he was sounds blood. Still very, yeah, it was still very much human. Like, like remember going back to episode it's point three? Of view. It's point of view. It was cutting, yeah, it's cutting the head, right? There's no blood coming out, right? So that's really infected, like, fully infected. But that, he's still pretty human. So I, when you, you see the, the blood reason, coming out. I think the reason why they were pointing to the blood is... Uh, and I'm, I'm only thinking this because I don't know what the situation would be if, for example, if I had to shoot somebody, kill somebody I care about, would I have the balls, n- not even balls, would I have the heart to stare at them or stare at the blood or the floor away? Like, your point of view, you I think as a human you were too weak to even look that direction so i think we're looking from henry's direction and he's looking at the blood going like holy shit i killed him and he doesn't want to look at his brother because he killed him yeah yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with that as well yeah yeah i mean uh, it's <laughs> remember i'm texting you so first it was when the bloater came out I was like yo this thing is terrifying as fuck yo, and then that amazing <laughs> it was so good yo <laughs> you <laughs> Did you see him rip the head off? Bro. He just goes, Whoa. In my name, like, Mortal Kombat, fatality. Bro, <laughs> he just he came it. out and, like, all might. He came out legit just beating everybody <laughs> up. Might. Bro, he came out legit beating everyone up. Yeah, that was that was terrifying. He but, was, yeah, oh, like... He was getting shot nothing happens. Nothing happens. Yeah, yeah, just a little nick here and there. I was like, Ooh. wow. Yo, but how but, they how they swarmed out and just started fucking going oh, off. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what I said. I, going back to uh, what I was talking about before we even got... There's a scene where you hear the noise and one of the gunmen is moving towards the front. And I'm like, fuck, no. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, let me go towards the back. <laughs> like, I was slowly... I, I, I need to make sure this car is on park. I need to make sure <laughs> yeah. the car I, I is park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make like, sure the I radio's gotta... working. Yeah. Yo, I gotta, oh, man, I, I gotta go all the way up because I need to check the weather. Because if it rains, I can let you know. Rain. Yeah. Nah, exactly. Bro, like, like, I was like, why would you go towards the front, yo, man? As soon as as soon as the the tank uh, the tank was going down, I yeah. was just like, 
I'm like, I'm out. Oh, I'm like, it's cute. It's your cue. Nothing good is gonna come up. Ain't nothing ever gonna be good. Good coming up the thing. I'm like, run. But nah. they were just like, you know, let's just wait. Don't they have grenades? I'll be like throwing grenades left and right. Man. Well, see, like... see, remember the word she used? This Kansas City is free. Kansas City has zero infected. So they thought cool. they were safe Confused because, as a... because yeah. the Fedra, uh, Fedra because she, yeah. Yeah, and she also didn't tell people that there's an infected underneath that thing. That's what, yo, when you I know. saw that in episode 4 when uh, the ground went like that, I was just like, I hope it's a bloater. Oh. And then I saw the preview for episode 5. I was like, yeah, bloater! Yeah. I should stop watching the preview because oh, I knew, like, so good, when, I saw the fire, when I saw the fire and I remember a bloater coming when there was a lot of fires, I was like, that big mother. Here we go. I did Here we not, go. I didn't think all those other motherfuckers were gonna come. The clickers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the baby that was clicker. Massive. Dude, the that. baby clicker. Oh, God. you know the thing, like because our physical mentality when you see kids, right? Yeah. They're adorable, weak, and not terrifying. So every time you like turn kids Chucky into Sergio. monster, it's fucking terrifying because it's such a psychological fuck fest, right? Like every like scary you know ass shit stuff right they would turn kids into monsters and then you see the like gymnast I think is what I heard it's just flipping around like that's fucking freaking get that shit out of here yeah, but then I loved it the fact that she killed uh what the Kathleen is her name oh she beat oh, the shit out of her yeah, <laughs> and I was like yes Kathleen, yo no no but even with Kathleen um. Uh... I thought her character got better in the fifth episode. I really couldn't stop seeing her being the girl that she was in Do It Have Been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, I felt yeah. like I was seeing the same person, but I, I, I liked how human her character was because her brother forgave the person right. that you know put him in jail while she's yeah. like, uh uh-uh, uh, I'm not doing it. And yeah, bullshit. I, I really love. I, so it's. Last of Us is delivering everything we asked for. I really feel this is the new HBO 9 o'clock. Like, you know, HBO consistently, consistently has a show. Game of Thrones they had. They had The Wire. They had Euphoria, White Lotus, House of you Dragon. can't talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, I mean, it did, it did, I, I did, it did about... run television. Well, Game of Thrones is a separate segment. I am going to need every single drug in the world. I need to be yeah, intoxicated. A... I need to be drugged up. That yeah, show gives me anxiety. Yes. That still gives me trauma, man. That still gives me trauma. With that being but, said, yeah. this was episode one of Last of Us. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, no. Sorry. ASM Sekai. Last of Us will be talked about. We're missing the A. I'm the S. That's the M. We'll catch you next time. I hope your shit was good enough. Well, we got to cut in and out, right? Peace.